Hi, welcome back to Manohar Academy. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the protected fields and protected methods. Till now, we have seen three scopes that is private, package and public. Whenever we add the keyword private to a method or the field, we know that they are the private fields and methods and they can be accessed only inside the class in which they are defined. If we tag them with public, they will become the public fields or public methods and they can be accessed from anywhere. But if we don't tag them with private or public, by default, without any keyword, they become package scoped and they will be visible or they will be accessible inside the same package. So they can be accessed from the class in which they are defined or any other class that is inside the same package. For that reason, they are called the package scoped fields and package scoped methods. We know about these three. Now, in this lesson, we are going to learn about the fourth access level that is protected. The protected variables or protected fields and methods, they can be accessed inside the same package. So that is similar to package scope and they can also be accessed from the subclasses. These subclasses can be in other packages as well. So the protected is something like package plus subclasses. So let's see that in the code examples. So here I have four classes. In package one, I have P1C1 class and P1C2 class. In package two, second package, I have P2C1 and P2C2. Please note the P2C2 is extending P1C1. So the P2C2 is a subclass of this particular P1C1 in a different package. Okay, now the private variables and private methods. The private fields and methods, they are accessible only inside the class in which they are defined. They are not accessible outside the class. So they are not even available to other classes in the same package. So the private is very simple. Next, the package variables, package fields, package methods, package level fields, package level methods, they are accessible inside the class as well as other classes in the same package. They are not accessible outside the package. So because of that in package two, they are not visible. This particular variable in this case, it is not visible in package two at all. Now the public, public is available everywhere. So here the public variable can be accessed from other classes in the same package as well as other classes in the different package. But here note that because P2C1 is not extending P1C1, I am creating a variable of type P1C1, then I am printing the public variable. But here because P2C2 is extending P1C1, I am able to directly print the public variable. The private variables, they are not accessible here, so I can't obviously print them, but because the public variable is accessible, I can print that without creating any object of P1C1 because P2C2 itself is of type P1C1. It's a subclass of P1C1. So this is known. So we did not learn anything new about package, protected, not protected, sorry, private, package and public scopes here. But coming to the protected, the new one that we are learning in this lesson, the protected variables, they are available in the same package. So here you can see this variable can be accessed here. Also, they are available to the subclasses in the different package, in the other packages. For that reason, in the P2C2 class, I am able to access this protected variable directly because this is inherited from P1C1 and also it is visible. So I can print it directly. So, but remember one thing, the subclasses can access protected fields and methods of their own, not of their parent. What do we mean by that? Here, I, I am creating the same classes P1C1 and P2C2 in two different packages, but I added parent to P1C1 just to make things simple. So here we have P1C1 parent and P2C2, sorry, P2C1 child, which is extending P1C1 parent. As we have seen in the previous slide, we can directly access the protected variable from the subclass. 
but if you are receiving a parameter of type p1c1 that is parent you cannot access that protected field directly so another way of saying the subclass can access the protected variables of its own so here you can see that here it is able to access the protected variable of its own so here the child is nothing but p2c1 child but it cannot access the protected variables of its parent so this is to make sure no one will create subclasses just to pick into the parent class uh, variables so but still whenever uh, you have protected variables something like this the they can well, i mean other programmers can start creating subclasses and they can directly access these variables in the subclass they can't peek into parent class but nonetheless they can start using those variables in the child class this is not encouraged because it is breaking the encapsulation right so this is not preferred the protected fields they are not preferred at all but protected methods they are kind of okay because we have private methods because whenever we don't want to show them they are most of the time helper methods to the to support the behavior that is shown through the public methods so private methods no one can call but these protected methods they can be trusted to be called properly by subclasses so protect me protected methods are okay but protected fields they are not okay because they are breaking the encapsulation okay that is all from this lesson last but not least if you are benefited from this video please make sure you like the video and you share it with your friends so that they can also watch they can also learn also please subscribe so that whenever i upload a new video you will get a alert so that you can also watch that new video and you can learn that is all from my side thank you for watching see you in the next lesson